Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking a bit about vermicomposting. This here is a bathtub worm bin or worm farm I put together and it's been doing a wonderful job helping me to create copious amounts of organic natural fertilizer for my garden. Now in previous videos we've discussed how to put a bin like this together, what's the best bedding to start a bin off, how to reset a bin, harvest worms, keep the temperature regulated in the winter to keep it a bit warmer, different ways to use the castings, and today what we're going to discuss is how to actually keep the bin cooler during the heat of summer. Now temperature is an important factor to keep your bin healthy and active and worms will thrive in a temperature of about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take 10 degrees either way. But if we can stay in that zone, we're going to get a lot more out of the bin and the worms are going to thank you for it. So the first thing is that in the summer, it's really important, especially in these hotter climates, that we keep the bin in the shade. So you're going to want to try to find the most northern facing side of your yard, so the southern end of your yard that gets the most shade. And I'd also recommend if you can get yourself a canopy, a tarp, some sort of a setup, just to ensure that the sun doesn't come beating down on the bin during the day and you can try to keep it in full shade. This is really going to help. But my biggest tip is this, before you just take those food scraps and go dump them in the bin during the summer, there's one easy step you can do beforehand that'll make a huge difference in the overall temperature of the bin. That's right, just take those food scraps and throw them in the freezer overnight. You can use a bowl, a bag, a tray, and the next day you can go grab them out of the freezer and you're good to go feed your worm bin. Now you can see this is rock solid after just about 12 hours in the freezer. And now I'm just going to quickly dig a little crater out in the worm bin. Sometimes I'll do a bit of harvesting before I do my feeding. And we'll dump in those food scraps. I'll backfill a bit of the castings with the worms on top. If you got some cardboard or some coconut coir roll, you can put that over the top as well. And shut the cover, and you're done. Now this to me is the same as if you were to put ice cubes in a glass of room temperature water. It has a great cooling effect. You can make smaller little blocks of food scrap and actually keep them in the freezer and store them if you've got enough room for that and feed them at a later time. So with that, have yourself a great rest of the day. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.